All right, Citadel of Spiders. It's actually one of the beginning caves, to be fair. Like, we're supposed to be doing this one of the first, actually, maybe even the first day that we go to the, uh, the perplexing pool. Um, I probably don't even need to proof this cave, but I'm going to try it once. If there are no caves, then I will be a little bit more forgiving and reluctant to proof things. But we're going to do it once, just because uh, a bad example of it has been set by previous caves. I, I know some of you in the comments told me that the two two of the caves, or there are only two caves in the game that have Wallywog traps, and there are only a couple that have traps in general, and apparently we've already done them all? Oh, don't kill me. But I'm still, I'm still a little bit hesitant to believe that. Nothing on you guys, I just, I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so... All right, and as they say, actually, this is not this is not even relevant. Better to to ask forgiveness than permission. That's not relevant at all. Come on. All right, so the skitter leaf we actually have to bring back. Also, that that guy's shadow was square. All of their shadows were square for a brief moment there. That's kind of awkward. And as I said before, now although this is probably a new episode, uh, as I said before. I actually need to bring all of the treasures back, or all of the enemy carcasses back. Every single one. Because we're so close to completing the debt that... There we go, good job. We're so close to completing the debt that we're only 130 away if we get every single treasure, so... Every, every single enemy needs to be brought back. No holds barred. All right, there we go. Got them. Bring them back. Grab this tomato. So I guess the theme of the theme of this area is going to be fruit. That works, I guess. All right, you can kindly die. I guess not. Come on. There we go. Is this everything? Was there only one treasure on this floor? I mean, there are some cool root systems. Those are actually really cool. I like that. It looks it looks pretty neat. And actually, oh, it makes sense, because this, uh, this cave is directly under a stump, so there are root systems. That's neat. That's a nice touch, Nintendo. Love nugget. Okay. I wish I liked tomatoes. There, have you ever ha seen a food that you, that you detest, but you actually want to eat it? Like, you see other people enjoy it, and you're like, man, if I, if I like that food, then I could enjoy it with other people, like they do. Well, that's tomatoes for me. I see people enjoy it, and it's like, oh man, I really wish I liked tomatoes, but sadly I don't. They just don't. I, they, my taste buds don't like them. And then people look at me and they say, that's a really weird thing to say. You wish you liked something? I'm like, yeah. Don't you wish you liked, I don't know, pig's feet? And they're like, no, I don't wish that. But then I'm like, you see, if, if you actually wished for it and it came true, you wouldn't not like it, so you wouldn't not wish. You know what? Never mind. It's the weird musings, musings of the pal. Nothing here. Odd. All right, so you can take care of that. Looks like there's some Wallywogs, which I can take care of with purple Pikmin. Otherwise, they're just some fiery dweevils. That's it. All right. We can we can certainly deal with that. Like I said, this is kind of a, a beginning, a beginner's cave. That's gonna be kind of problematic, though. Here, take that out. And then... Lure him out. There you go. And have him jump once more. Oh, boy! Oh. There we go. And while he's like this, kill him! Nice, 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 get him, yes! I was afraid he was going to jump once more, but no, he did not. Awesome, 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 awesome. Alright, now how about... If I don't harm the, the Dweevils, then they won't harm me back, so I'll focus the Wallywog. And... Kill him with purples really easily. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. I expected him to jump once more, but he just looked around like... Well, I'm dead. Uh, nothing more I can do. Okay, kill them. 
and kill him. Purples are ridiculously overpowered. I have to remember also that I need to take all of the treasures or all of the enemies back with me. Something I'll constantly have to remind myself because I had a habit of doing that as a child because I have hundred. I think I have like 50,000 Pocos on my private log because I kept going into caves and bringing back enemies. Like, once you ran out of treasures, enemies are the only thing left. And so I have uh, like tens of thousands of Pocos. And then I had to break the habit for the purposes of the Let's Play because it's not that fun to watch. Like, seeing someone just bring back all of the enemies. But I have to teach myself that that is a good thing again. All right, we got this super creepy duckling. The paradox Paradoxical Enigma. Oh, okay. I don't get how it's an enigma, but whatever. Nintendo and Japan knows best. And lipstick as well? Oh, no, not that. I guess a bottle cap first. And some really, really, uh, seizuristic Pikmin. Creative inspiration. And lipstick, which is the... What is it going to call this thing? Lip service. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward name. An awkward Wally Wog doing awkward things. Alright, that's all the treasure here. Let's go into the next cave. <sighs> things are going pretty well. They're also going surprisingly quick, to be honest. I've said it like 50 times this far, but this is a beginner's cave, and it's really easy. Like, really, really easy. Hopefully they'll step that up a little bit. Maybe I'm just getting good at the game. That would be nice. That'd be nice to think uh, to think about myself. A couple episodes ago, I was really worried because, you know, we lost Olimar. And I, I needed to start changing my game plan from going in blindly all the time. No Wallywogs. No Wallywogs. Okay. Whoa. That's a huge treasure. Wow. All right. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't do that. Don't electrocute my Pikmin, please. Kill him. Nice. Okay, is that a... Uh... No, just swooping snitch bug. I don't have to worry about that turmoil. Now, you guys actually told me that the other bug, the, um... The other snitch bug, the one that picks up captains, doesn't actually pick up Pikmin, which... A lot of these things that you tell me, I do remember, so like I already knew it, but it was it's still good to, to remember. It's just when I say these things, a lot of times there's rust involved in my speech. Alright, take that out. Kill him real quick. That one poses no threat to me, but I still have to bring him down. Alright, you sir, I don't think you have a, a mate with you, so you're just going to meet a very... <laughs> Lonely death. Man, it. I just. I just realized again because I had to pause the the game there. You might have noticed a cut, but I had to pause the game real quick to make a cut. Also, it's a good thing that I brought Weiss here. Oh man, I would have regretted that so much. I probably had to restart the cave. But uh, I had to pause the game to cough because I still have a cough for some reason, even though I'm. Whoa! You guys lied to me. You guys, in the comments, lied to me. There are traps. There are totally traps. Uh, that that got me pretty good, though. You guys, good job. Good job doing that. You, you tricked me. Uh, okay, what I was saying, I had to pause because I'm coughing. Because I'm still sick for some reason. I still have a cough. For reasons unknown. But, um, I noticed how good the game looks. I mean... It's kind of hard to tell just by looking at the physical game. Like, it looks pretty good, yes. And the edges are much sharper than on the Wii or GameCube version. But still, at its heart, it's still, you know, it's still an old game. Memorable shell. That's, that's really pretty. But the menus, man. Look at those menus. The menus look so much better. It's not just, although there is a little bit of a sprite error on the bottom, where it shows me the key of how to to move 
There's a slight clipping error, but whatever. That's just emulation. But it looks much better. And it makes me think, it would be really cool if they re-released the Pikmin games on, like, well, not the Wii U, because it's the Switch now, but the Switch. That'd be really neat. It'd be great to see these games completely reimagined in actual HD. But then again, they're also releasing another Pikmin game, and I, I can't really ask for... Come on. I can't really ask for um, a re-release when their sequels are just so good. Like, Pikmin 3 is fantastic. It's really good. All of the Pikmin games, I have no complaints about whatsoever. Okay, you guys, you can meet a very bouncy death. So can you! There we go. Oh, I got them both. That's fortunate. You too, you too. Come on, come on, come on. Kill this guy. Nice. But, um, it'd be really nice to see these games reimagined on the Switch. Or the Wii U, either one. I'm honestly fine if they re-release, or if they continue releasing things for the Wii U. It's actually a really good console. Like, people say it was a failure, but it's really not. And I, I've told people this before, um, when they've asked, you know, should I get PAL? Should I get a Wii U? They, they seem pretty, or should I get a, a Switch? Or should I get a Wii U to play Zelda? Um, I have actually told them to get a Wii U quite more often than not. Although, specifically, I guess this comes from, you know, my standpoint being used to mods in the past. Like, I played Project M a lot, and that's that's a mod, so I'm kind of familiar with them by this point. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm emulating this game, and so I'm comfortable doing it, especially since, you know, I have a copy of this game anyway, so it's not, not breaking the law. It Technically, if you're curious about whether emulation is legal or not, it is not legal unless you have another cop- if you have a physical copy that you bought from Nintendo. Patience test. Oh, that's funny, because you're trying to open it, I guess? And sliced and peeled water chestnuts. Water chestnuts sounds pretty good right now. But it's- emulation is legal if you have a physical copy of the game. Because at that point, a lot of US laws are kind of gray areas, but at that point, um, it's put along the same vein- where's the cave? Opposite end, got it. It's put into the same exact vein as having a backup copy of a movie. And that is legal, because then if you lose it- Uh, have I never gone here before? I thought I was here before. Is this filled out now? Not quite. So it is legal, if you have another copy of the game, which I do. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I recommend pe that people buy the Wii U if it, they are planning on modding it. Because the Wii U actually has a lot of untapped potential. And I mean a lot. If you soft mod a Wii U, you can actually uh, play Blu-ray game- or Blu-ray Blu discs on it. You can use it as a DVD player. And, like, it's already there. The technology's there. All you have to do is- as Okay, that was a funny- a weird jump. Um, you just have to do some some soft modding to get that to happen. Uh, you can also, as if that wasn't enough, and that's a feature that Nintendo should have enabled from the get-go, you can also actually play GameCube games. Hello, this cave is a little bit of a, a little bit more difficult it seems. You can also play GameCube games on the Wii U, just by soft modding it. You don't have to change the hardware. You change the software, and I've heard I haven't done it myself because I have you know I have so many things that can play uh, GameCube games. But you can do it! And it it plays it, because if you think about it, it's backwards compatible with the Wii, right? Right. Well, the Wii is backwards compatible with the GameCube, and the, the Wii essentially is just a... a GameCube with... How do I want to say this? It's a GameCube... It's, it's three GameCubes duct taped together, essentially. There isn't that much hardware difference, and as someone who's researched the actual, like, the specific components of a Wii, um, and, f and the Wii U, the Wii, the Wii and Wii U all share the same exact processor. They've just been changed, like, it's the same processor that's been slowly upgraded over the years, but it's the same one, at its heart. So you can actually play GameCube games, which means the Wii U is actually one of the Nintendo's best consoles. Because you can play three generations of games on it, and they're all good, good consoles that the the uh, the generations had. So like, it's really nice if you mod a Wii U. 
And I recommend pe that people do that. Especially for people on a, a smaller budget, they can't really afford to stay current on Nintendo consoles. I'm really surprised no Pikmin caught on fire there. But for people who want a fixed income, if they want to have a console that could also double as their DVD player, with... Run, 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 okay. With Netflix and all that kind of stuff, they could also play GameCube games on it, they could play Wii games, they could play Wii U games. It, it really works, it works out really well, so I recommend that, that to people. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, I, f I remember this. If he does that, he's now stuck. Posing, oh, no, never mind. I, th I thought I could have I could have said for sure that if he did that he got stuck but apparently not don't oh. no 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 kill him kill him ah oh, he got a purple I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I saw the purple lagging behind oh that's unfortunate ah oh, man I don't like losing a purple especially when we need a hundred of them later in the game also, did I take all the... Yeah, I took all the enemies back, right? Right, okay. I really need to do that, though. That's important. And he had no treasure inside of him. Here's not. Oh, boy. That, that, that little tunnel there reminds me of something we're going to have to be dealing with later. In the, the final cave. Ugh. It's kind of gross. Alright, no traps, no whammies. Okay, so let's put the rest of our squad onto this and they can work on that while Louie does other things tackles the other side of the cave and we get it oh yeah I forgot about this this matchbox has Bowser on it telephone 555 troopas Bowser breath brand flame of tomorrow <laughs> okay that'd be actually kind of great Nintendo I mean mat a matchbooks are are kind of obsolete by this point and honestly smoking is kind of obsolete by this point but that would that would have been really cool if they had done that that would have been a great nintendo power back when that was a thing a uh, great uh nintendo power oh reward come on okay kill him swarm him swarm him nice all right take him back take him back for the fatherland is there any ca no treasure in here? Okay. Is there a treasure in here? Certainly. No. Oh, did he drop that? And I just—I oh, think he dropped that, and I just didn't see it. Okay. Fifteen Pocos. Really? Fifteen. Apparently, Hokitate is not in want for food, which means that they're definitely not Kopai from Pikmin Three. King of Sweets. All right, up to eight, 8,900 Pocos, and there's the last treasure. It's a locket with a dog on it. Actually, that's probably one of the developer's dogs, thinking about it. It's a cute dog, still. All right, let's grab this locket. Carry it back. This is the last thing we need before... How's that gate coming? Oh, it's done. Neat. And we have all of the corpses? That's, that's actually really important. I've, I've talked about it so many times, but it's really important that I, I stay up on that. 130 Pocos is not a lot, but it's hard to get that much, uh, that many beasts to account for 130 Pocos. Also the Pikmin, I love it. They're completely glitching out. Time capsule. All right, that's it. No more treasures, no more enemies. We've lost one Pikmin, but and it has it was a purple, which is not good. But a lot of these deaths, like there was one last episode when we were still in the perplexing pool. There was one where a Pikmin just randomly tripped and ran into a, a an electric gate. A lot of these I can't help. Like there's another one. Oh, wait, is this the boss? This is the boss. What? Okay. But a lot of these deaths I can't really prevent. This is the final floor. Are you kidding me? All right. Already. Also, I thinking about this, I, I should have taken more yellows. All right, there's a treasure up there. Oh, hey! 
Hey, no, 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 don't run that way. Don't run that way, please. Don't run that way, please. Thank you. And he had a spray. Awesome. I'm not going to use that spray, but that's still great. I'll definitely take that. Okay, whites. Let's put them on. There we go. Get them on. Get on that. No. Get on that. There you go. Let's get this treasure first, just so it's out of the way. That way, if for some reason I lose the white Pikmin necessary to dig that up or even carry it, I can still bring it back, or I can still have it. Oh, that's a valuable treasure. It's one of the few valuable ones. It's a gem. Let's drink this while we're at it. Oh, we've never seen one of these. Okay, so I guess we're seeing this cutscene now. The red liquid you see contains ultra, ultra uh, refined, ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press down on the D-pad to spray this extract on your entire group. I love how it explains. I think it explains it, regardless of wit of whether or not I've actually gotten the sprays. And let's see, the geysers that way. Geysers that way. Okay. All right, just come on, dig it up. I'm not going to go fight the boss yet. I'm not going to fight him until that is back to base, because otherwise I, I know for a fact that the cutscene will be interrupted, or my fight will be interrupted by that, and I will be forced to to probably lose a couple Pikmin because something dumb happened and I was interrupted. Alright, just taking yellows for now. I really wish I would taken more, come to think of it, because I forgot what the boss was here. Regal Diamond. Very regal indeed. Beautiful. Let's get a nice angle on that. Just in case I decide to use it for the end slate. Since I, I don't actually... I don't actually show, like... I don't cut out a bunch of that animation. What I end up do doing is looping the animation myself in post. So, I have to get a good look at it. Alright. The boss is directly above us. Sadly, we can't look up. I would have loved to see what this thing looks like when it's on a web. But... Alas, it cannot be. This is... Oh! Uh, the Beady Long Legs. An enemy from the entire series, actually. He's kind of the... Whoa, whoa. Careful dance. He's kind of... What do you what do you want to call him? The, the Bowser? Not really the Bowser. He's like the Goomba of bosses. And actually, I kind of want to show something off. Since he's about dead, let's show this off. So this guy can really only, like, conceivably he can only be harmed by yellows, because they're the only ones that can reach his, his body. However, yep, purples can defeat him. In fact, you know what, let's, let's com defeat him in a very comedic manner. Purples, come here. The purples, when thrown at his feet, will... <laughs> Purples, when thrown at his feet, will harm him. I have never killed a beady long legs that way. I read about it online, and I wanted to see it for myself. That's that's sad. In the Japanese version, you can actually just throw Pikmin at him, and they'll be enough to... Or throw Pikmin at his feet, and that will hurt him. But in this version, you can only use purples to do that. Otherwise, you have to throw yellows at his body, and that'll be the only way to kill him. Sweet victory! That giant insect's body has crumbled to dust! I am quite relieved to know that I won't have to store such an enormous bug! Analyzing soil samples! Anomaly detected! What's that glittering widget? This widget, as he calls it, is the key! From, I believe, uh, Mar Super Mario 64? Used to open doors? And it actually does something up here, or in this game, besides being an upgrade, it unlocks, because what would a key do? It unlocks something! And this key unlocks a mode. That's right. That's right. This key unlocks a mode to the game, which I'll be showing off in full, actually. It unlocks challenge mode. The key! This object seems familiar! I will combine it with the President's par Parallel Dimension Controller! Ha! 
<laughs> that's that's great. That's a that's a good way. That's a cute way of explaining that it it doesn't do anything for our heroes, but it does something for the player. Alert! Sensors indicate a massive massive dimensional shift at a distant location. I am receiving a message from a far flung dimension. Displaying the message now. Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. It appears to be total gibberish. Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. I will name this apparently worthless device the key. And we have the key. <laughs> such a such an uh uh charming charming way of unlocking a mode. Especially since that mode is unlocked, like, not when something major happens in the story, just when you get some arbitrary treasure. I like it. I like it a lot, game. But that's it for the Citadel of Spiders. Let's see how many... How many enemy treasures we've gotten. Because we need 130 Pokos worth. And we got... 80! That's not bad. I, so I need 50. I need 50 more. Whew, hopefully I did my math right. I really hope I did. All right. I I was going to do an outro there, but actually we're just going back to the <laughs> we're going back to the world, so I can wait. I can wait for that outro until we actually get back. Let's see. But do I have enough time to get Molly? That's the question. Um, I think I will. Maybe. L let's see. Let's see. I'll take yellows and purples. Um, ninety percent of the debt recovered. I'm really sad to see that, but also I'm kind of apprehensive. All right, uh, question. I need yellows. I need a lot of yellows. Okay, so let's go kill Molly. See if I can do that in time. I need to hurry. I need to take whites for that as well. It's really the only way. And purples. Purples to kill it quickly. There. No, 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 no. There. What? Why is why is it not being stunned? I guess, you know what, let's just leave Molly alone. She didn't hurt us back, and we don't have enough time to bring her strawberry back. Sorry about that, Molly. Also, she didn't even attack back. I think she's trying to now, but she's kind of slow on the uptake there. Aw, sorry, girl. She's kind of cute in a weird way, actually. No, Molly, no, you can't do that. Sorry, Molly. Good night. Sorry to hurt you. And she tries to attack me right at the end of the day. <laughs> Giving me some lip there. Alright, so that is the end of today. We got... We got a lot of the prelim preliminary work done. The only thing, the only wild card is how to, how I need to complete that... That puzzle next to the, the cave, the final cave. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. But otherwise... There's nothing else that needs done. And that way, we'll, we're leaving one cave in every major area so that I can make one final return to them to show what I've missed, talk about some things that uh, we have, just haven't seen yet, and cover some of the, the things that g basically give the game a three-step outro. All right, we got 80, 80 Pocos worth of treasure from the Bulborbs. As I said, we need 50 more. Because we need 130. I'll check my math in between today and tomorrow, but I think that's right. We lost one purple overall. And went up to... I was reading the thing wrong. I was like, how did we go up by going from 589 to 520? That that was the weeb in me. I was reading from right to left. I am a, a sad person. We lost three Pikmin today, but overall we, we got a net gain. What does the president have to say? Today, I tried building a small room at the top of a tree. It reminded me of my younger days, when I lived in a little shed. Those memories would help make this bearable. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> ho! This guy's on the lamb, but really, I don't feel sorry for him. It's kind of comical. Uh. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm also, let's playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild right now. And that is released every Monday and Wednesday. And those are 
quite the adventure. It's like Pikmin, except I have no clue what I'm doing, which makes it makes it a bit uh, dynamic and, and d definitely much much different, much different, more different than this, or just different from this, I guess. So I'll see you guys next time for another Pikmin 2, where we will get that last above ground treasure and enter the last cave before we complete the debt. We're already there. We're already there. See you guys then. Uh, like I said, this episode's really scatterbrained because I don't know what to do. Like, this is the first point where the game has been like, okay, now that you have memories, you're good. You don't need to do anything from here on. Like, you you are the master of your Fire, own. water, electricity, and poison. We're going in with 85 Pikmin, four sprays to our name, and a lot of fear. Let's go.